by the Sharks, then dived on by Treaster in an offside position. Peter Jones dives for the line, very close to scoring. Only centimetres out, Jones the player. Now to Buttergeek. Good defence though by the Sharks. Underneath him went Paul Mallor. Goldthorpe. Brilliantly tackled by Eddinghouse and came quickly out of the line to knock Goldthorpe over. Now to Murphy. Three metres out, Glenn Murphy plays it. Goldthorpe. Bad pass. Jones. The moment he got it, he was put to the ground by Nick Graham. Goldthorpe again runs it to the blind side. Prince puts it on the toe. Howland goes back for it. Taken touching goal. And a goal line drop up coming up for the Sharkies. Good defence shown by the Sharks. Certainly no panic in their ranks at the moment. They've done it very well. Pretty well placed kick. Obviously taking no chances whatsoever. Deciding to let the ball try and dribble over the, uh, the touchline. But to me, there really does seem to be a little bit of a lack of organisation, the construction in the Cowboys' attack. Surely they're throwing the ball around, but when they need to shift the ball and have four or five players in the line, they just don't have it. Yeah, well, that's an area, I guess, where they, they really do miss a, a guy like Paul Green. He's used, they've got Goldthorpe in there at halfback, but he's used to being outside and really having Green direct the play. This is Peter Jones. Jones knocked over. In this tackle. Now, let's have a close look at it. Andrew Pierce. I don't think with Treister. Treister goes in first. No action taken by Bill Harrigan. So the ball, as Peter Jones has taken from the field, John Buttergig will go in and play the ball for him. Yes, I wonder what Tim Sheens is thinking. I don't think it's hard to tell, is it? <laughs> Buttergig plays it. Kyle Warren driven back. Some good defence. Led by Treister and Graham. Buttergig. 21 metres out. John Buttergig plays the ball. Goldthorpe to Chris Tassel. Coming at an angle. Just behind the line. Read again well by Eddinghausen. From Goldthorpe to Buttergig, doubling around Goldthorpe, then to Prince. Last coming up, Goldthorpe runs it on the last, puts it into the end goal and dives for it. Couldn't get to it. Colin Best. To dive on the ball and a goal line dropper. David Peachy playing well. I got there first anyway. It really doesn't matter. Goal line drop out to the Sharks. So another chance for the Cowboys. Kyle Warren again. 28 metres out from the line. Goldthorpe. Nandruku. Good tackle, Eddinghausen. Valentine's pass to pick up Hetherington, who gets to 10 metres out. John Doyle, back from that shoulder injury. Away from Hetherington, and then Goldthorpe, and wide it goes to Prince, and on the inside to Blind Jellick. Oh, he took that well, Jellick, and gets over the line. He's had a great game tonight, Blind Jellick, and if there was a player in the Cowboys' side who deserves that try, it is Brian Jellick. They're not done with yet, the Cowboys. 16-8 with a relatively easy kick to come. And an important kick it will be too to close the match back to a converted try uh, difference. Very good work. They shifted the ball to the right-hand side. Scott Prince is a guy that held it in his hands for a fair amount of time. 
almost confusing the defence. But you've got to pay all the credit to the man that took the ball, Jelly. He got into a position where he had to bust through tackles, had to get through another one right at the death, and did so successfully. Well, this was good play by the Cowboys. It had a fair bit of possession lately. And a nice ball back inside. It was well taken by Jelly. Got away from the first tackle. And it was too strong. Forced his way over for a very good Cowboys try. the incident a couple of the players were Cronulla players or the Sharks players were objecting they believed that Doyle had actually made contact with the ground and should have been penalized I don't think there was too much argument offered by anybody after watching the replay kick by Connolly is unsuccessful no goal so with 12 minutes remaining it's the shark 16 and North Queensland 8 Gee, that was almost a rush. They're on the trail of a killer. Strangle. Three or four weeks, they just haven't got a, a goal kicker that, with any consistency. And they've been trying two or three different players each game. And, it, and it, in, the, in the end, it, it's costing them uh, quite a number of games. So the restart being taken by Blaine Stanley. Angelic couldn't get it, and it goes into touch. Well, Brian Jellick goes from hero to villain, not being able to stop that ball. It was a difficult one for him, and into touch at sales. Yeah, well, I don't think there's too much of a decision to be made on. I really don't think there's much of a decision at all to be made on things like that. Probably didn't receive a lot of assistance from players nearby. But you've got to attack the ball at every opportunity. Get the ball in your hands and run forward. Richardson. 11 metres from the line, Russell Richardson. Eismunger. Knocked over by some willing Cowboys defence. Stanley, then to Graham. Graham switching it on the inside for Luke Stewart. Campbell takes play away to the short side to Melor. Tried to get a pass for Eddinghausen. He couldn't do so, and Goldfort was there to dive on it. Now Jellick's turned to a turn. And starts to run Jellick. Good run by him. Gets back out to the 20. Connolly. Coming off the left wing, Adam Connolly, to take it in for you. Doyle for Heatherington went behind Valentine. him again that's five gone now for the Cowboys Goldfork sets himself for the kick and then elects to run it throws it to Prince for the kick did kick by Scott Prince but a oh, brilliant take great take David Peachy what an athlete this fellow is made that look just so easy and let me tell you that was a very difficult kick it was high he had to make ground to it and he just took it with consummate ease Quick, back, back, well, it's back. one of the reasons why he's regarded as one of the best in the game. Ah, superb rugby league skills, David Peachy. Made to look just so easy. Sean Ryan. Ryan reaches halfway. Melor. On the blind side, Melor. Runs into Nandruku. Five and Marcus, don't go too quick. Here comes the last for the Sharks. As we come inside the last 10 minutes of this game, and the Sharks leading by eight. This kick being chased by Colin Bess. Jellick trapped in goal. Certainly seemed to take his time about that one, Brian Jellick. He's done a lot of good things tonight. Maybe he's just feeling a little tired, I don't know, but he just really seemed to take his time about it. And, yeah. uh, and Colin Bess was storming down on well, that was probably the thing that made it look worse as well. The chase from Best really was first class. I think he probably had fair reason on that occasion, Jellick, to believe that the ball perhaps could have gone over the dead ball line. But really, they can't afford to, to take too many 